Good morning, dear Transformers, from wherever you are. This is another day that God has given us. And as usual, your job and my job is to rejoice and be glad in it. My name is Alex Kimina. Welcome to our morning devotion. Let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come before you. We thank you. We give you praise and we give you honor. Thank you so much for a beautiful day that you have given us so that we can be able to make things right where we failed, so that you can be able, Lord, to thrive in you, Lord, and to live by your decrees and by your intentions, O oh Lord. We love you, we honor you. In Jesus' mighty name, I do pray and believe. Amen. We've been talking about the subject of uh, the power of the Holy Spirit in our lives. And yesterday, we talked about wisdom, the essence of having the Holy Spirit so that you can be able to walk in wisdom. And this morning, we are going to talk about the power of the Holy Spirit when it comes to understanding. When it comes to understanding. I want us to go to the book of Job, chapter 32, from verse 7 to 8. The Bible says that age should speak, advanced years should teach wisdom, but it is the spirit in person, the breath of the Almighty, that gives them understanding. I repeat again, Job chapter 32 from verse 7 to 8, it says that age should speak, advanced years should teach wisdom, but it is the spirit in person, the breath of the Almighty, that gives them understanding. I want you to understand one thing, that the breath of God is the Holy Spirit. When God created man, he breathed into man. And from there, I want you to understand that when God created man, his breath went inside the man and man became, or rather man came to life. And the breath of God is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a custodian of understanding and wisdom and understanding go together. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, you access the ability to understand the complex issues that face you as far as your personal life is concerned, as far as uh, your family life is concerned, as far as uh, your career, your job is concerned. It is the breath of the Almighty. In short, it is the Holy Spirit that gives you the understanding the understanding to be able, the ability to be able to keep up with the issues, the ability to check and dissect and eat and understand the ability to uh, see things clearly in detailed form and be able to comprehend what is happening or what is before you. Friends, the Holy Spirit is a power, is a current that we ought to walk with because without this current, the issues of life will be difficult for us to understand. There are so many things that happen in our lives that if we don't have the power of the Holy Spirit, we will not be able to comprehend, we will not be able to, to, to get uh, the, 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 the firm hold of whatever is going on. And without the Holy Spirit, the Bible says in Romans chapter 8 uh, from verse 10 to 11, that the spirit that raised Jesus from the dead is able to give life to your mortal body. And remember when God created man, in the process of creating him, his breath, he blew his breath into man. And man, man that, 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 that creation, that man, that mold became to life, it came to life. And that breath that we're talking about, that breath that the Bible is talking about is the Holy Spirit. And without the Holy Spirit, who is able to give life, who is able to give wisdom, who is able to give understanding, then you will be walking in darkness as far as issues of life are concerned. And this morning, I want to encourage you, friend. I want to encourage you, brother. I want to encourage you, sister. Purpose to walk in the Holy Spirit. Purpose to 
allow the Holy Spirit to occupy his rightful place and that is inside of you because the Bible says that your temple, your, your, the, because the Bible says that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Once you allow him to occupy his temple, he is able to bring life into your body. He is able to bring life into the wisdom that you have acquired. And from there, you are now able to not only walk in wisdom, but you're also able to walk in understanding. You are able to be sober. When things happen, they don't get you by surprise. You have already seen them and you are now able to crack them up. You're able to understand. You're able to dissect them from one point to another. That is the power of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Understanding is key, especially if you are to walk in this generation, if you are to walk in the times that we are living in. A lot of things are happening. Our culture is being shaken. Our country is being shaken. A lot of things are happening. And if you don't understand, if you are, if you are not walking in the spirit, you will end up dissecting, you will end up handling are the things that are supposed to be handled in the spirit in a carnal way without understanding their genesis. Because that's what understanding does. Understanding makes you uh, uh, get the genesis, get, get the root cause of any issue so that now from there you are able to either conceive solutions or you are able to redirect something knowing very well that you have understood the root cause of that issue. Friends, that is the power, that is the benefit of the Holy Spirit. Once you have him, you have understanding. That's what the Bible says. That it comes to a place where, yes, age and advanced years, that's what the Bible says, that it should speak. It should teach wisdom. But there is only one power that brings heavenly understanding into the issues of life. And that is the breath of the Almighty, the Spirit in person, the Holy Spirit. Allow the Holy Spirit to take over your spirit so that now, once the Holy Spirit has partnered with your spirit, you are able to give birth to solutionary ideas, to ideas that bring solutions. You are able to understand. You are able to comprehend and once you have understanding in your life, you are now able to not only develop your life, not only develop your mind or your heart, but you are able to walk in wisdom, you are able to avoid problems, you are able to avoid the issues that may bring distraction, not only in, the, in your life, but in the life of your family, or in the life of your community, or in the life of your nation. Friends, the Holy Spirit is for you. That is my message this morning. Allow him to occupy your body. Allow him to occupy your mind. And I assure you that wisdom and understanding will be your portion. Let's pray. Father, we love you. We honor you. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. We love him. We love him. We love him. The Holy Spirit is the wind of God. He is your soul. When we have him, we are able to know what is in your mind or what is in your heart. And for that, we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Holy Spirit, fill us. We surrender to you. We put down our wisdom. We put down our carnal understanding. And we submit to your divine wisdom. We submit to your divine understanding so that we can be able to walk on this earth as you desire. In Jesus' mighty name, I do pray and believe. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. See you tomorrow. Have a blessed day. And may the Holy Spirit walk with you in every hour of this day. God bless you.